Hey guys, it's Annie here today and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about a book that I have been reading recently. So I'm so excited to talk about this book because I actually did finish the book today and ever since I picked up the book um, I've wanted to always make a review about this book that I've been longing to have and to read and I finally finished it. I have been reading this book about Okay, so I bought the book on Monday and I only just finished it this morning when I woke up. So I have been obsessed, like obsessed with this book ever since I picked it up and I bought it home and I just had to start reading it like straight up. And when I was like at work, the only thing I was thinking about was going home and finishing the rest of the book. So to start off with, I'm not a big fan of reading books. It is very hard for me to pick up a book and really like it. And it's not because I judge a book by its cover or, you know, I look at the book. Like, there have been so many series where I've actually purchased the book and I've read, like, the first hundred pages and I just haven't liked either the way it's been written or what the book is about. But there have been some books, which I will talk about, that I have really really enjoyed and that I have really really loved so the books that I have read in the past is when I was a kid for English I think at school we had to read Twilight and then I just decided to read the rest of the book so I read through the Twilight series the next book after that I believe was um, I think it was Hunger Games if I'm not mistaken yet yeah, Hunger Games was the next one so I read through all of Hunger Games and I loved it because it was like action and not knowing what's going to happen and trust me the books are way better than the movies. And then the next one that I read which was obviously a lot more recent than the other one so this is in definitely in some sort of order. Um, and the latest one that obviously the series that I read before the book that I'm about to talk about today was Fifty Shades of Grey. So I really hope this new book that I've read um, does come out with a movie, hopefully in the future, um, only because all the other series that I have read have come up with a movie and they probably aren't as good as the books, but I mean, because you kind of know what's going to happen, you, you forgive the movie and you just go, alright, it's good. <laughs> but the book that I'm going to be talking about today is, are you ready for it? The Girl Online by Zoe Lang. Now, I don't know if you guys watch Zoella or um, are subscribed to her, but when I found out she was bringing out a book, I was so excited, like beyond excitement because I'm subscribed to her, I watch her, and we're going to get a little bit deep and meaningful here, and I wish there was a way she could see this because she needs to know how inspirational she is. Like, Zoe who is also known as Zoella on YouTube. She is really, really inspirational and to be honest, she's one of the reasons why I started YouTube as well. You know, I'm not, there, there are some type of people who get jealous of other people's wealth and you know, they, they get really, really nasty about it or you know, they get too jealous to the extent where you know, they become really, really mean or they leave a mean comment saying or this, this, this and that. But, you know, having that type of jealousy is bad, but having the good jealousy, which is what I have. So let me explain what this good jealousy is. So when I look at Zoe, you know, and I see her vlogs and what have you, you know, it's not that I'm jealous that I'm not her. I think it's more as an inspiration, jealousy type thing where, you know, I get inspired to do the things that she does because overall she seems like she's a nice person, she's, she's got her morals and she's got her influence on other people and she has definitely influenced me 110%. And I love her and if I could be at least like 1% of who she is, then I would be completely happy and to be as successful as she is and be able to come out and write a book you know obviously I've got my own dreams and maybe it's not writing a book you know but to get that inspiration that she wanted to write a book and now she's you know published a book out herself 
you know, that inspires me to do all my dreams and my goals in life. So I guess that's the thing to take from today is to go for what you want and, you know, make your own dreams come true. And this is what I've learned from this book. There are, an, there are multiple things that you can actually learn from reading this book. So now that all this, you know, emotional thing <laughs> is over and I've, I've said how much she means to me and I wish, I wish that she could see this video, but the likelihood of that happening is probably almost close to impossible. But anyway, um, let's just get straight into the book and I'm not going to give any spoiler alerts, obviously, because that would be the worst thing for those who might still be reading the book. But I'm just going to review it. I haven't done this before, so I hope this video doesn't come out too draining, but I'll just get straight into it and we'll see what happens. So obviously the book is called Girl Online by Zoe Sugg. And, you know, it's got the little um, story of what happens and it keeps you guessing about what the mystery is. Um, so if I'm being completely honest, you know, when I did start out the book, um, it was one of those books that even with the other series that I read that I mentioned previously, you know, um, it did, it started off a little bit slow and I was a little bit confused in the beginning of it. But when I got, and I'm a sucker for like romance, so <laughs> when this book turned out to be romantic, I was like, that's it, you sold me. Like, I love romance. That's the type of books that I'm into. And biographies or autobiographies. I don't know which one. The ones where, <laughs> probably gonna sound really stupid, but the ones where the people write about themselves. That's the one. Probably sound really dumb there, but anyway. So when I started um, reading this book, I fell in love with it because it is a love story and there is a twist towards the end of the book. And if you want to find out what that twist is, then you have to buy this book. Um, and it was just so incredible to kind of read through it and, you know, the journey that she goes through in this book. I don't know how much of it is her journey because obviously there's a lot of different other names um, used in the book. It's not obviously her name or her people that she knew, she knows in her life. Um, but definitely, you know, it's well written and I like how... I'll tell you something which you know straight away when you start reading this or if you're already halfway through reading it, you know she does a blog in the book and she writes about what she experiences through and she, her um, anxiety and everything like that which has come through and she blogs about it to make herself feel better, which is her way of dealing with things. And, you know, things do happen along the way to tick her off and um, make her feel more anxious and things like that. But the way that she deals with them and the way that she stands up with it is something that you can learn from this book. Number one is that learning how to deal with your own problems and, you know, not really blaming on anyone else and you know having people who love you and will support you through all those um that one thing that you might have that you feel really terrible about or that issue that you're going through so that is such a good sense in that way where you can find who your true friends are when it comes to those issues which is something that you'll definitely see in the book you'll find out who her true friends are who isn't worth it this and that um the second thing that i really did learn from this book is you know on the internet now that we have social media you know people do leave bad comments around on people's videos you know I've read comments on other people's YouTubes and I go you know they've got no right in saying that they've got absolutely no right to post those things and the one thing that I've learned from this book is although she goes through those problems and the secret thing at the end which I'm not gonna like I said again I'm not gonna spoil it for those who are still reading this the thing that you will learn the most is that you need to understand two sides of the story. And that's when you can make your judgment. There's no way that anyone should or even consider, you know, writing a bad comment about someone if they don't know who that person is. See, I can't go onto someone's um, YouTube account and go, this, 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 when I have no idea who they are. I watch them on YouTube. That's all I know about them. I don't know them personally, so therefore I have no right to go and judge them according to that video that they've made. 
So that's something that is major in this book and it's something that you can be taught. You know, like, I don't know, it's, it's just hard to explain it. Like, a good book is when it keeps you wanting to read more, it's got love, it's got those cliche stereotype, you know, things in there which are so cute and probably don't happen into everyday life. Maybe whatever happens in this book doesn't happen to someone every single day. All right, like falling in love or this and that. But I don't know, it's just there is so much meaning towards this book when you look beyond all that. It's not just a book that has romance and it, ha it ends with a happy story or a bad story or a bad ending, sorry. It's just it has so much more meaning into it. And once you go past it, you'll definitely see what I'm talking about. So guys, if, if there's one thing that I have to say, if I had to rate this book actually from 1 to 10, I would say out of all the series that I read, it's probably an 8. Only because the other two books were very different to this type of book. But I have, you know, started some books that are very similar to this type of um, genre of things. Um, but this is definitely one of the best books that I have read um, in a very long time. And the fact that I've read it means... <laughs> means a lot because like I mentioned in the beginning of this video the beginning of this video um, I don't read books that often unless they get my attraction and not because of the cover or anything but in all in all honesty like one of the main reasons why I also did want to pick up and read this book is number one because Zoe is an inspiration to me and I wanted to support her in the way that I can and the only way that I could support her and show that she really does inspire me was you know reading her book and talking about it because it really is a good book and there's absolutely nothing wrong with it and um, if you've watched her vl vlogs she is writing the second book which I'm excited to purchase as well and that's just my way of contributing to her life and you know purchasing something that she's written and reading it and talking about it and if you guys want to read it as well definitely Go check it out. Um, there is a a link here, www.zoella.co.uk. So I'll put that link down below, and you guys can probably go check her YouTube out and that website out, and hopefully you guys can order this book and read it too. And in the comments below, please let me know what you guys think about the book if you've read it and what you love about it the most or what you've learned about it. Please share this video and like it and hit the subscribe button and. I will see you guys very shortly. Bye!